to explain the result of many experiments for example it was known that substances like glass or ebonite when rubbed with silk or fur get electrically charged in this unit we start with the experimental observations made by scientists towards the end of 19th and beginning of 20th century these established and that atoms are made of subatomic particles that is electrons protons and neutrons a concept very different from that of dalton discovery of subatomic particles in insight and insight into the structure of atom was obtained from experiments and on electrical discharge through gases before we discuss these results we need to keep in mind the basic rule regarding the behavior of charged particle like charges repel with each other and unlike charges attract each other discovery of electron in 1830 michael faraday showed that if electricity is passed through a solution of an electrolytic chemical reaction occur at the electrodes which resulted in the liberation and deposition of matter and the electrodes he formulated certain law which you will study in class 12 these results suggested the particulate nature of electricity in mid 1850s many scientists mainly faraday began to study electrical discharge in partially evacuated tubes known as cathode ray discharge tube it is de- depicted in figure 2.1a cathode ray tube is made up of glass containing two thin p- pieces of metal called electrodes st- seal in it the electrical discharge through the gases could be observed only at very low pressures and at very high voltages the pressure of different gases could be adjusted by evacuation of the glass tubes when sufficiently high voltage is applied across the electrodes current starts flowing to a stream of particles moving in the tube from the negative electrode cathode to the positive electrode anode these were called cathode rays or cathode ray particles the flow of current from cathode to anode was further checked by making a hole in the anode and coating the tube behind anode with pho- phosphorescent material zinc sulfide when these rays after passing through anode strike the zinc sulfide coating a bright spot is developed on the coating these results uh, of these experiments are summarize below first cathode rays start from cathode and move t- towards the anode these rays are rays themselves are not visible but their be- behavior can be observed with the help of certain kind of materials fluorescent and phosphorescent which glow when heated by them television picture tubes are cathode ray tubes and television picture result due to fluorescence and on the television screen coated with certain fluorescent or phosphorescent material in the absence of electrical or magnetic field these rays travel in straight line in the presence of electrical or magnetic field the behavior of cathode rays are similar to that expected from negatively charged particles suggesting that the cathode rays consist of negatively charged particle called electrons the ele- characteristics of cathode rays electrons do not depend upon the material of electrodes and the nature of the gas present in the cathode ray tube thus we can conclude that electrons are basis constituent of all the atoms charge to mass ratio of electron in 1897 physicist j j thomson measured the ratio of electrical charge e to the mass of electron by using cathode ray tube and applying electrical and magnetic field perpendicular to each other as well as to to path of electrons figure 2.2 when only electric field is applied the electrons deviated from their path and hit the the cathode ray tube at a point similar figure 2.2 similarly when only magnetic field is applied electric strike the cathode ray tube at point c by carefully balancing the electrical and magnetic field strain it is possible to bring back the electron to the path which follow in the absence of electric or magnetic field and they hit the screen at point b thomson argued that the amount of deviation of the particles from their path in the presence of electrical or magnetic field depends upon first magnitude of the negative charge on the particle greater than the magnitude of charge on the particle greater is the interaction with electrical or magnetic field and thus greater is the deflection second mass of the particle lighter the particle greater the deflection third the strength of the electrical or magnetic field the deflection of electron from its original path increases with the increase in the voltage across the electrodes or the strength of magnetic field by carrying out accurate measurements on the amount of deflection observed by the electrons on the electric field strength or magnetic field strength thomson was able to determine the value of e mc as e upon me where me is the mass of the electron in kg and e is the magnitude of the charge on the electron in coulomb since electrons are negatively charged the charge on electron is e charge on the electron 
आर ए मिलिकन एटीन सिक्सटी एट टू नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री डिवाइस ऑफ मेथड नॉन एज ऑल ऑयल ड्रॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट नाइनटीन सिक्स टू फोर्टीन टू डिटरमाइन द चार्ज ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन ही फाउंड द चार्ज ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉन टू बी माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस माइनस नाइनटीन सी द प्रेजेंट एक्सेप्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्ज इज माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो टू वन सेवन सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस माइनस नाइनटीन द मास ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन ई वॉज डिटरमाइन बाय कंबाइनिंग द रेशो रिजल्ट विथ थॉम्सन्स वैल्यू ऑफ ई अपॉन यम ई रेशो Discovery of protons and neutrons. Electrical discharge carried out in the modified cathode ray tube led to the discovery of canal rays. Carrying positively charged particles, the characteristics of these positively charged particles are listed below. Unlike first, unlike cathode rays, mass of positively charged particles depends upon the nature of gas present in the cathode ray tube. These are simply the positively charged gaseous ions. The charge to mass ratio of the particles depends on the gas from which these originate. Some of the positively charged particles carry a multiple of the fundamental unit of electrical charge. The behavior of these particles in the magnetic or electrical field is opposite to that observed for electron or cathode rays. The smallest and lightest positive ion was obtained from hydrogen and was called proton. This positively charged particle was characterized in 1990. Later, a need was felt for the presence of electrically neutral particle as one of the constituent of atom. These particles were discovered by Cadwick 1932 by lambording a thin sheet of beryllium by alpha particles when electrically neut- neutral particles having a mass slightly greater than then that of protons were emitted and he named that particles as neutrons the most important properties of these fundamental properties are given in table 2.1 observations obtained from the experiment mentioned in the previous section atomic models observation obtained from the experiments mentioned in the previous section how suggestion that dalton's indivisible atom is composed of subatomic particles carrying positive and negative charges the major problem before the scientists after the discovery of subatomic particles were to account for the stability of atom to compare behavior of elements in terms of both physical and chemical properties to explain formation of different kinds of molecules by combining combination of different atoms and to understand the origin and nature of the characteristics of electron magnetic radiation absorbed or emitted by atoms Millikan's oil drop method in this method oil droplets in the form of mist produced by the atomizer were allowed to enter through a tiny hole in upper plate or electrical condenser the downward motion of these droplets was viewed through the telescope equipped with a micrometer eye piece by measuring the rate of fall of these droplets millikan was able to measure the mass of oil droplets the air inside the chamber was ionized by passing a beam of x rays through it the electrical charge on these oil droplets was acquired by collisions with g gaseous ions the fall of these charge or oil droplets can be retarded accelerated or made stationary depending upon the charge on the droplets and the polarity and strength of the voltage applied to the plate be carefully measuring the effects of electrical field strength on the motion of oil droplets millikan's concluded that the magnitude of electrical charge on the droplets is always an inte- integral multiple of the electrical charge that is q is equal to n e where n is equal to 1 2 3 The Millikan oil drop apparatus for measuring charge in chamber the forces acting on oil drop are gravitationally electrostatic due to electrical field and vicious drag force when the oil drop is moving Different atomic models were proposed to explain distributions of these charge particles in an atom to although Some of these models were not able to explain the stability of atoms. Two of these models, one proposed by J. J. Thomson and the other proposed by Ernst Rutherford, are discussed below. Thomson model of atom. J. J. Thomson in 1898 proposed that an atom possesses a spherical shape, radius approximately 10 rish minus 10 meter, in which the positive charge is uniformly distributed. The electrons are embedded in it. 
in such a manner as to give more stable electrostatic arrangement many different names are given to this model for example plum pudding resin pudding or watermelon this model can be visualized as a pudding or watermelon of positive charge with plums or seeds electrons embedded into it an important feature of this model is that the mass of the atom is assumed to be uniformly distributed over the atom although this model was able to explain the overall neutrality of the atom but was not considered with the result of later experiment Thompson was awarded Nobel Prize for Physics in 1906 for the, his theoretical and experimental investigations on the conduction of electricity by gases in the latter half the 19th century of different kinds of rays were discovered covered besides the mentioned earlier William Rowington 1845 to 1923 in 1895 showed that when electrons strike a material in the cathode ray tubes produce rays which which cause fluorescence in the fluorescent material placed outside the cathode ray tubes since Rowington did not know the nature of the radiation the name x-rays and the name is still carried on it was noticed that x-rays are produced effectively when electrons strike the dense metal anode called targets these are not deflected by the electric and magnetic fields and have a very high penetrating power through the matter and that is the reason that these rays are used to study the interior of the object objects these rays are very short wavelengths 0 minus 0 0.1 newton meter and possesses electromagnetic character Henry Becquerel 1852 to 1908 observed that there are certain elements which emit radiation on their own name in this phenomenon as radioactivity and elements known as radioactive elements this field was developed by Marie Curie Perry Curie Rutherford and Frederick Soddy it was observed that three kinds of rays that is alpha beta and gamma rays are emitted emitted Rutherford's found that uh, that alpha rays consisting of high energy particles carrying two units of positive charge and four unit of atomic mass he concluded that alpha particles are helium particles helium gas beta are negatively charged nuclei as when uh, alpha particles combine with two electrons yielding yielding helium Gas beta rays are negatively charged particles similar to electrons. The gamma rays are high energy radiation like X-rays and neutral in nature and do not consist of particles as regards penetrating power. Alpha particles are the least followed by beta rays 100 times that of alpha particles and gamma rays are 1000 times of that alpha particles. Rutherford nuclear model of atom. Rutherford and his students has Geiger and Ernst Marsden bombarded a very thin gold foil with alpha particles. Rutherford's famous uh, alpha particle scattering experiment is represented in figure 2.5. A stream of high energy alpha particles from a radioactive source was directed at a thin foil thickness uh, 100 nanometer of gold metal. The thin gold foil had a circular fluorescent zinc sulfide screen around it whenever alpha particles struck the screen a tiny flash of light was produced at, produced at that point the result of scattering experiment were quite unexpected unexpected according to thomson model of atom the mass of each gold atom in the foil should have been set, spread even or evenly over the entire atom and alpha particles had even energy to pass directly through such a uniform distribution of mass it was ex expected that the particles would slow down and change direction only by small angles as they pass through the foil it was observed that first most of the alpha particles pass through the gold foil undeflected second a small fraction of alpha particle was deflected by small angles third a very few alpha particles 1 in 20,000 bounds back that is where deflected by 180 degree. On the basis of the observation, Rutherford drew the following conclusion regarding the structure of atom. First, most of the space in atom is empty as the most of the alpha particle pass through the foil undeflected. Second, a few positive charged alpha particles were deflected. The deflection must be due to the enormous repulsive force showing that the positive charge 
of the atom is not spread throughout the atom as thomson had presumed the positive charge has to be concentrated in a very small volume that repel and deflected the positively charged alpha particle third calculation by rutherford showed that the volume occupied by the nucleus is negligibly small as compared to the total volume of the atom the radius of the atom is about 10 rest minus 10 meter while that of nucleus is 10 rest minus 15 meter one can appreciate the differences in size by realizing that if a cricket ball represent a nucleus then the radius of atom would be about 5 km on the basis of above observation and conclusions rutherford proposed that the nuclear model of atom according to this model first positive charge and the most of the mass of the atom was densely concentrated in extremely small region this very small portion of the atom was called nucleus by rutherford the nucleus is surrounded by electrons that move around the nucleus with a very high speed in a circular path called orbits thus rutherford's model of atom resembles the solar system of in which the nucleus plays the role of sun and the electrons that of revolving planets electrons and the nucleus are held in together by electrostatic forces of attraction